Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is morning prayer for Tuesday, March the 6th. It's year two. It's week two in Lent and week four in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalms 61 and 62. And Mark chapter 3, verse 19 to 35. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. O God, hear my cry, listen to my prayer. Psalms 61 and 62. O God, hear my cry, listen to my prayer. From the end of the earth I call, and my heart is faint. On a rock too high for me to reach, set me on high. O you who have been my refuge, my tower against the foe. Let me dwell in your tent forever, and hide me in the shelter of your wings. For you, O God, hear my prayer. Grant me the heritage of those who fear you. May you lengthen the life of the king, and may his years cover many generations. And may he ever sit enthroned before you, and may love and truth be his protection. So I will always praise your name, and day after day fulfill my vows. In God alone my soul is at rest. From God comes my help. God alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, and I stand firm. How long will you attack me to break me down, as though I were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their hearts they curse. In God alone be at rest my soul, from God comes my hope. God alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress, and I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people, trusting always. Pour out your hearts to God the Most High, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, the great are an illusion. Placed in the scales they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, my God, love and that you will repay us all according to our deeds. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. O oh God, hear my crier. Cry, listen to my prayer. The lesson is from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 3, beginning at verse 19. And then Jesus went home, and the crowd came to gather again, so that they could not even eat. And when his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He is gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul, and by, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, the kingdom cannot stand. <clears throat> and if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself is, and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man, then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly, I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, <clears throat> but is guilty of eternal sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. And then his mother and his brothers came and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. 
And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Let us pray for the church and for the world. Grant, Almighty God, that all who confess your name may be united in your truth and live together in your love and reveal your glory in the world. Guide the people of this land and of all the nations in the ways of justice and peace that we may honor one another and serve the common good. Give us all a reverence for the earth as your own creation, that we may use its resources rightly in the service of others and to your honor and glory. Bless all whose lives are closely linked with ours. Grant that we may serve Christ in them and love one another as Christ loves us. Comfort and heal all who suffer in body, mind, or spirit. Give them courage and hope in their trouble and bring them the joy of your salvation. We commend to your mercy all who've died, that your will for them may be fulfilled. And we pray that we may share with Francis and Claire and all your saints in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. O oh God, you will to redeem us from all iniquity by your Son. Deliver us when we are tempted to regard sin without abhorrence, and let the virtue of God, uh, his passion come between us and our mortal enemy. Through Jesus Christ our Savior, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>